Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are on the second part of the Cupcake Polish Haul Swatching and in this video we will be applying the second coat. So let's get started. Alright, so let's get busy on this second coat. So this is two coats of diamond, and I believe, I'll have to look at my paper, I believe they said that it would actually be opaque, diamond would be opaque in two or three coats. Yep, two diamond is a two to three coat opaque. Now it's not too bad. You can still see some of the color coming through underneath, so that would be nice as a topper still. So this one is icing. Nice, nice. Okay. Now we have frosting. frosting would it be just as good just one coat as a topper don't think that's gonna be any more opaque unless of course we want the sponging method but try not to have them touch each other and mess up so now we've got sprinkles heavy on that one just to make up for that extra heavy hand that I had on the other one yeah, I think as a topper I would do one but that it that's very nice as two now we've got fringe benefits again First on the clear Ooh, nice gives it a good deeper color I think I just got up on my skin. Dark on it. <laughs> and there's a little bit dark. As I'm sitting here going over this multiple times, it's making me think of a video that Natasha Lee's husband did the voiceover for one of her nail polish videos. And he was saying, um, we're gonna go on with the leave me alone. Uh, but he was saying, as she's polishing it, yeah, we're putting on the polish and we keep brushing and I have no idea why we keep brushing and we're still brushing and there's no more, there can't be any more polish on that brush. <laughs> it was just, it was fantastic. I loved it. That's good. I like that second coat. That, one coat is fine, and I think I'm, I'm finding that with most of, well, I say most of, I only have four colored <laughs> cupcake polishes, but with the colors that I'm getting from cupcake polish, they are pretty much, you can do opaque in one, you know, it's opaque in one, but that second coat just adds that little extra oomph. I'm so glad I'm not painting my nails. Look at all that mess. <laughs> oh well. At least I'm getting paint something. And look how this one dried out. This one kind of dried a little more to the matte on the clear, but shiny on the black. That was very, that's very interesting. Second coat of Bloodhound. That's nice. That, that, that seemed to really darken that one up for me, or at least to me. It is the second coat on the dark. If you had any idea how difficult this were, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of people are doing the bird box challenge. I actually thought about offering that out, doing the vertigo challenge. 
and have you guys spin around a chair like five or six times till you're really dizzy and then turn around and try and polish your nails. But I figured it was too much like drunken nail polish and blind nail polish and all that kind of stuff. And it's funny they're doing the bird box nail polish, but Christine actually did the, Christine was simply nail logical, did the blindfolded challenge, I don't know, six, six or so. She did that a while back. So here we are with Mint, Mr. Mint. Oh, I still love this. Oh no, that may be my, this one may still be my favorite cupcake polish of all of them. And it's always going to have that little extra special because it, it was a free gift. It was something that I won, so that makes it a little more special. Did I get all the streaks out? I think I did. All right, so here we are with two coats of everything. And we're gonna go ahead and let these dry. And then we'll look at them a little close up and, and see how they look. If you like what you just saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of my videos, Click that subscribe button and then click the bell that appears so that YouTube will notify you when I post my next video. And please, tell your friends about my channel. Until next time, be sure to add a little sparkle to every day.